Minister Troy Buswell has been accused of simulating sex on top of a Perth businessman at a private function. His former girlfriend, Adele Carls, says she was shocked by the incident, but the Premier has urged people to give Mr Buswell a break. When Troy Buswell was promoted to Treasurer, the Premier promised he'd be on his best behaviour. I ride him harder than uh, black caviar was ridden. It may not have been hard enough. Mr Buswell's alleged to have jumped on businessman Nicholas Kalis and simulated sex on top of him. It happened a year ago during a private function at a Peppermint Grove mansion. The person making the claims is former girlfriend. Unbeknownst to Nicholas, Troy came up right beside him and jumped on top of him, thinking it was very funny, the whole incident. No one else thought that the incident was funny. She said she told the then housing minister to get off, but she was no match for Troy. It was a shocking incident. It was inappropriate to be doing that to anybody, let alone to business colleagues. Before we could ask why she'd gone public, she walked off. But she reportedly had told Mr Buswell, if this gets out, I won't protect you. I won't be covering this up. The level of public and media scrutiny of Troy has now gone too far. Uh, and I would simply say to people, uh, back off a little bit, give the guy a chance to get his life together and, and let him perform to his true capacity. Mr Boswell says he denies Miss Carl's version of events, as does Mr Kalis. Do we believe Adele Carls or do we believe Troy Boswell? Which one's got form in not telling the truth? That's Boswell. Liberal MPs seem divided over Troy Buswell's antics. Some have told Nine News if the story's true, then it was harmless fun done behind closed doors. Others say three months out from the next election, it's not a good look. Josh Yerger, Nine News.